my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have another headband wig for you guys I have so many this month I told you guys this is a good month to watch my channel because I have planned out all my content and I have a mix of lace wigs headband wigs all of the things on my channel this month so make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are on so today's video is different though because it's a headband wig but it also has a bang attached to it. This video is brought to you by Her Given Hair. So far, I have only seen Miss Naturally Mary review this wig and one other lady, she has two. So it's not a lot of reviews on the human hair curly wigs with curly bangs. I am curious to see what it is like. So this is what it looks like a day later. I have let it air dry overnight and the curls are intact and everything. So this is what we're working with here. So. Um, I'm going to read the specs on this wig and then we will get right into application and styling. And if you guys are curious as to where I got my necklace from or my head wrap, all this stuff will be linked in the description box for you guys. So this is the Her Given Hair Bangs headband wig. The hair texture is coily, so that is the 3C to 4A texture. I have tried that from this company um, a couple of times now. It's 16 inches, so this is shorter than what I usually go with, but I'm not mad at that at all. Sometimes I do like something that's a little bit like off my shoulders. Um, it's a medium sized cap and a natural color. So natural colors tend to look like a number two if you, you know, need that for reference. So they're gonna be having a lot of, you know, sales going on this month. So look out for all the sales that they do have because they are a more high end, hair company, great quality, but they are on the pricier side. So make sure you take advantage of all the sales that they have going on for like Black Friday and stuff if you wanna save some coins. If you're curious, cause sometimes people ask me how do I wear my natural hair underneath my wigs. I just have my natural hair braided into two braids. They're not perfect. It's just moisturized and I have it in two braids. I've said this before, sometimes I wear, I wear my bonnet underneath my wig cap so I can uh, keep moisture in my hair because the wig caps can dry your hair out even though I think they're necessary to help create a barrier between your wig and your hair but sometimes it can dry your hair out so I tend to wear my bonnet underneath my wig cap. I have already gelled my edges down with the She Is Bomb edge control here. It will be linked in my Amazon storefront if you guys want to check that out. I feature all of my wig supply essentials on that list. So if it's something you're curious about, like me, what I use for my wigs, check my Amazon wig essentials list there. Now, this is gonna cover up most of your edges and stuff, but I still gel my edges down anyway. Okay, let's just get first impressions of this. So I'm just gonna try it on and I hope this is a win. So I'm gonna position the comb in the back. That's usually the comb. The only comb I use, and I don't want my bangs looking like that because that's that's a hot mess. You need to, well for me, I'm gonna secure it in the back and I'm gonna pull mine up. The cap is actually really big on this. And y'all know my head is large. Okay, so I can't keep it like this and <laughs> I just can't. But I know it's gonna be cute because I saw it on Miss Naturally Mary and it looked really cute on her. So I'm gonna push mine up a little bit on my face. Actually, I'm gonna kinda of, kind of, uh, put the comb in on the side and make it more secure. You don't have to do this, but it kind of felt kind of big on my head. So you can have your edges out if you would like to do that. 
but you can have it all the way covered as well with the headband. If you suffer from hair loss, you can just cover it up. But I like to show my edges. So I'm gonna start fluffing this out because it needs it. I don't want the bangs to be like too low on my face because I think that looks weird. So you're gonna have to play with this part. Okay, so I got the bang how I want it, how I want it to be for now. Okay, so this is the one from Deanna Monet's company. Right now, I feel like I'm not like a huge fan of how the bang looks on me. So I think I wanna use some bobby pins to kind of keep the bang more in the center, like kind of pin it right here. styling this this is way cuter up in my opinion so with a lot of headband wigs what I've noticed is I know y'all see that excess velcro back there so I'm just gonna bobby pin it it's not a big deal but I wish companies would like give us velcro to match not like a small piece and then the other part super long but it's fine because it's looking way better as a bun and I think that's how I'm gonna wear this again you don't have to show your edges if you don't want to you can pull you can pull your headband all the way up. Okay, so a lot of companies, they send me like these silk scarves and I usually don't use them, but um, I think they work well with like bigger hair. So I'm gonna style it with that. Okay, so you guys saw it down and you saw it in this puff. I definitely prefer it up. So I think I'm gonna wet it again back here and add a little product and see if it'll weigh it down and give me the look that I want. Well, my Spaces wig is $311. So if you like this wig, but you're not like comfortable with that price, you can go with the shorter length and it's gonna be cheaper. So again, the base price is 186 and the more specs that you add, it's gonna go up.
Okay guys, so I'm back and I have been through the ringer with this wig trying to figure out how to make it work for me. So I started off by washing the wig last night, letting it air dry overnight on my mannequin hand. I picked it out a little bit today with my pick just to give it some more volume. It was in its dry state today. It looked kind of awkward. It was a little bit flat and the curls weren't as defined as I would like them to be. So I put it up in a bun. The bun is my favorite style with this wig. I think it looks so cute with the bang and the puff. Super cute. I took this African Pride leave-in cream and some water and I took my paddle brush and ran it through the curls in sections and then I took some of them and kind of did a twirl around my finger to define the curls and I think it looks so much better this way. So I think this is a wig you have to play around with quite a bit. Then I put um, some pins just to kind of keep the bang towards the middle but I did show you guys what it looked like kind of all out and you can cover your hairline with that and you can use the headband. Use the headband to cover your hairline as well. I prefer the headband wigs without the bang. I just like, I'm cool with showing my forehead. I have no problem with doing that. But this is some, this is another option I'm bringing you guys. So, you know, if you're interested, it is available. I personally prefer it without the bang, but I still made it work. So if you are interested in this wig, you can head over to Her Given Hair and pick it up there. Shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. And shout out to you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.